<laughs> Boy, what a full house. Should we start now? We, should we go seniority, Ed first? There you go. You're up, Ed. Ed, you got top left again. You're just lucking out all over the place. Oh, for gosh sakes. What? Now it's seniority as opposed to top left. Thank you. Uh, we are uh, certainly thankful uh, for finishing up our day because we started out at the airport. We'll get to that in just a moment because we are wrapping up in grand style here in National City. We have been talking about this since 8 o'clock. Again, these incredibly beautiful and powerful murals, four of them. It's a four-panel mural, if you want to use the singular, honoring uh, our greatest civil rights leaders some 70 years ago from left to right, Cesar Chavez, Larry Itleon, Dolores Huerta, and, of course, Dr. Martin Luther King uh, to the far right. This is an unveiling uh, that is taking place here at the San Ysidro Health South Bay Health Center, a very important fixture here in this community. It was uh, Mayor Sotelo Solis who commissioned this uh, quite some time ago. Uh, certainly national city leaders and the artists uh, uh, that are here, very, very powerful people, meaning in terms of what they are bringing to us on that wall. Uh, started talking about the diversity of this community and honoring these four important figures in our history. And so it is uh, that the unveiling is today. Mario Torero, I'm looking for him. Eh, I don't see Mario. He's been very busy, but he's the lead artist here with support from several other artists. The financial support, uh, twofold, and we will talk about that when we visit with you uh, in the later editions of the KUSI News. And again, we started out our day at the airport talking about Pack your patience, get to the airport two hours early, and things seem to be flowing fairly well. But, however, you need to appreciate there is no parking at Terminal 1 because of the construction. Terminal 2 parking, and you are encouraged to reserve a space there and or take advantage of the valet, and you want to you wanna book that, too. So there we are, but, again, we are finishing up in grand style here in National City. It is really beautiful work here. All it right. certainly is, Ed. It's, it's really stunning. I love, I love the style of how they've done that. So. Speaking of beautiful work, yeah. Casey's in the kitchen where the artist by the name of Sam was doing his thing. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. Hi, good morning. Yes, well, if you missed everything we made, we were here talking about leftovers for Thanksgiving. So you can just Amazon Prime one of Sam the Cooking Guy's books, and it'll be at your door tomorrow. So you can find all of the recipes for your leftovers. But Lauren, Sam overheard one of your questions of, um, can you make a turkey look like a turkey again? So you have an answer for her. I think she asked, can you spatchcock yes. a turkey, cook it, and then put it back together so it's round? And it's a simple answer. It's a ridiculous question. No, I don't even think you should try. Actually, let me take that back. I'd like to see you try that one. That would be fun. I was sparing work. you that humiliation what, that you what, just experienced. I mean, what? No, you weren't. It's insane. Yeah, it's a, it's I, a I nonsense you, question. Don't do that. Yes. Make it turk Spatchcock it. It's beautiful the way it is. That yes. Norman Rockwell picture with Thank him coming out. That's fantasy. It doesn't exist anymore. He's See? trying it to normalize gone. the spatchcock <laughs> display. I get it. I get his motive. Boy, I'm just saying. Sam put you in your place. I'll tell you that. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> uh, he was listening to you, and he goes, no, stop it. Stop it. Tell her not to do that. Yeah. Well, I didn't say I was boy, going to. So. I'm not going to spatchcock because I uh, haven't learned the art of taking the backbone out yet. I'm going to have to figure that out. It's a valid question. Thanks, Casey. But, oh, jeez. We got an answer. I would never have asked that. All right, uh, <laughs> Allie, you're up. All right, Casey, I've got the tree. You've got the turkey. I think we are good to go. Uh, yeah, you can come pick up your trees. They are open 9 to 9 at the Pinery. Um, guys, you think this will fit in the van? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Boy. Okay, that'll definitely I got it. Bring that one back. I'll, <laughs> she, I'll decorate it. She's got some biceps on her. Was she a curler in high school? I think. <laughs> All, right. Ah! <laughs> All right, well, then we'll that go to the, Diane. So you can't see where you're going. All right, Diane, you're up. 
I want to know where the Thanksgiving dinner is. I'm taking my e-bike there. <laughs> That's where we were this morning with Sandag, uh, launching their two-year program for the e-bike. So it's helping people in the community get around town in an efficient way. And those, especially families that maybe don't have a car to get to school or work, you might want to try to apply for that. They're taking applications now. It's a two-year program. And the beautiful thing, beautiful thing about it is that once the program is done, you actually get to keep the bike. And they're pretty nice bikes if you got to see our earlier show and segment there. So that's what Sandag is doing. And of course, right now we're at Northgate Market, where California Highway Patrol is about to give their Thanksgiving giveaway to 200 families in need. So this is our third annual Thanksgiving dinner giveaway with California Highway Patrol, helping families in need and especially military families as well. Just bring your IDs from military and uh, families. They have pre-registration letters that they sent out. So bring those as well at 10 o'clock. Send it over to you guys. All right. Uh. Well, great, uh, great coverage of events today. Well Yay. done you. All right.